There's a high scores table that would automatically calculate this, but for now it's just being done by hand. So I'm going to play drop that beat. You can subtract uh, 1 to 10 from your BPM. And I'm going to go down just 1 to get to 81. Your play, what you got? Okay. I'm going to play Shake It. All players must add or subtract modifier to their BPM, and the number is adding 10 by the looks of it. So mine goes up to 92. Oh, start. Oh, start. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> okay. And then yeah. Okay. So so add ten. Add ten. Add ten. Okay. Well then I am going to play uh, shake it. All players must add or subtract modifier ten. Okay. I'm going to subtract ten. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna add one to kind of get the then I'm going to play Rick Roll, which as you all saw before, everybody goes to 114 BPM. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to play Bring It Down. Divides all BPM by two. Damn it. <laughs> what is half of one more? <laughs> Four. <laughs> So again, the game basically progresses like this until everybody plays all their cards. Uh, you know, a couple different variations where you have speed up cards, you saw some of the different elements. And at the end of the round, you're trying to hit, well, you're trying to hit exactly the BPM as you're going through this. And then you're trying to be closest after the last person call plays the last card. At which point you call out Uno, which is you get Spanish for one more card. <laughs> as we all know. Uh, so, you know, that's the game. And you play three rounds of it, and whoever has the highest score after three rounds wins. The information that you get from the heartbeat when it's going correctly, which is apparently after it decides and thinks about it for a little while, uh, makes a really interesting interaction where you can, you know, if somebody's beating really fast, you're wondering if they're going to play a divide by two. If somebody's going really slow compared to the song, you have to wonder if a multiply by two is coming up. But it doesn't provide you any of the direct information of exactly what your BPM is. So that kind of interaction of getting that incomplete information was a lot of fun for us. And uh, yeah, it was a fun experience. And I'm glad that we have a game that people who are blind can actually play. Nice. <laughs> Unfortunately, deaf people are right out, but uh, we'll have a flashing light eventually. So that was it. Thank you, Chris. Thanks.